To many gamers out there, there's only one thing more important than victory, and that is having dope ass skins. Nah, the Reaver's dog shit, dude. Reaver is straight dog. Benz uses that op? Why don't you say that in the first place? But having the latest and greatest cosmetics isn't enough. If you take yourself seriously as a connoisseur, you must also have the rarest skins imaginable. Oh my god! Ah, let's go! So, it should come as no surprise that many of us dish out our hard-earned cash to have just a slim chance of unboxing some of gaming's most coveted items. Ah, thank you so much, MacGyver. It means a lot. There is a giveaway from Adam Chimes for a custom- Holy f***ing sh Are you serious? And no game stokes our obsession with rare and unique skins quite like CSGO. Oh! Okay! Who got a knife? Huh? I did. But even among the most degenerate, one man has risen as CSGO's most, let's say, energetic skin enthusiast. Titan Ono, you sexy beast, bro! Titan Ono, you sexy beast, bro, please! Titan Ono! Titan Ono! Titan Ono! Titan Titan Ono! Titan Ono! Titan Ono! 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 I mean, it could have been worse. Meet Onepixel, a German skin-obsessed CSGO diehard who recently became one of the community's most beloved content creators, both for his deeply relatable love of rare skins and for his unique personality. Oh. What? I wish I was that monitor chat. The hole is always right there, and if sometimes it's scratchy. The worse the float, the, the dirtier the hole, and the hole is always in the middle of the screen, right? This is why you want to have a clean hole, like this one. But how did Oni's obsession with skins help him stand out in a sea of cosmetic-consumed content creators? And how has he been able to diversify his content while still remaining one of the game's most passionate fanboys? Are you ready? Yes! I said, are you ready? Yes! Let's get it on! <laughs> Okay, so before we start talking about One and skins, I gotta remind you to please head over to shop.thescore.com and check out our merch. We got cool esports hoodies, we got t-shirts in tons of different colors and sizes, and you don't need luck to get these ones, you just need a credit card. Okay, so these days, One Pixel is Twitch's premier unhinged CSGO streamer. AK Vulcan Rizzy, AK Vulcan baby, please, please baby, please, boom, please, please. There's no way. But before he was Twitch's hottest DJ, getting his Instagram rated by an adult film actress, and opening cases strapped to a heart rate monitor, One was just your average CS diehard. Which, of course, meant that he was obsessed with skins. Of course, I've always loved the game, all aspects of the game. I've always played the game. Um, you could say that half of my hours in CS, I don't know how many hours I have right now, um, is probably just me inspecting skins, looking at skins. In fact, his obsession led him to start uploading videos to YouTube, discussing some of CSGO's rarest and most infamous skins. And right out of the gate, it was obvious that Ona's approach to content creation was a bit... raw. How do I start this? I don't even know. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Oni Pixel here. But thanks to his deep understanding of the skin market, his own impressive collection, and the fact that he was making content that helped his fans make better investments, Oni amassed a small following of other aspiring skin enthusiasts. That growth skyrocketed once he started collaborating with larger CSGO content creators such as Anomaly. And it was during a meetup in Sweden and Iceland where the CSGO masses got a taste for what made One so special. Show him how the Germans do it. <laughs> damn, he's thick though, god damn. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> hey, that did pretty well. <laughs> oh, that was just not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> That's hella scary. And being exposed to Anomaly's much larger audience helped on his own audience on Twitch grow even more. But again, this dude was a bit of an oddball, and he wasn't doing anything particularly original, so 
What was it that was getting people so into One? Sure, getting signal boosted by a guy with millions of subscribers helps, but it still doesn't explain why people kept tuning in. He wasn't a former pro or an analyst, and people sure as hell weren't tuning in for his gameplay. No, man, I... I... I take a second to focus. I take a second to like rethink about this game, and then I and then I will uh, uh, top rank from. Uh... But that's the remarkable thing about One. He didn't need any of that. See, in some ways, the CS:GO community is as interested in skins as they are in the game itself. We are fascinated by them, spend heinous amounts of money to get our hands on the coolest ones, and even keep track of which ones are popular amongst the pros. And One is the biggest fanatic of us all. His excitement about skins is both unmatched and infectious. Don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if my gold one has been that great recently. I mean, I did unbox the second worst set of cases in the second worst set of gloves in CSGO history. That was a, a thing. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! This is not real! This is not real! This is not real! He's the average CSGO skin fanboy ascended. He cares about skins more than just about anybody on this earth, and that's what got people watching. That and his extremely out there streaming persona. Don't disrespect skins that you don't use a lot. Your inventory is your house, it's your safe space. And you have these little children in your house, right? Uh, they, are, they are your... Okay, that sounds holy. Okay, bro. You're like, you have, you know, like... <laughs> okay, okay, listen, listen. Eating a banana on banana. Inferno. Eating a donut on donut. And it shows me eating a donut on an ancient donut. Eating a cat. No, not, a, not that one. Eating a... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, I want to be there right now. Oh, Iceland sucked me dry. Oh my god, Chad, I'm melting right now. I'm melting like a white piece of chocolate. But there is actually one other super subtle reason for Ones' recent rampant popularity. And that is that he started streaming at exactly the right moment. You see, during the pandemic, CSGO's player count exploded. Meaning that there were tons of new fans looking to learn about both the game and its massive world of cosmetics. And with his big personality, One was just that guy. He was funny, he was knowledgeable, and most importantly, his stream was a place people could go to watch someone slowly descend into madness by blowing thousands of dollars on cases. Do some quick rolls? I will never do quick rolls. I hate quick rolling. Quick open is one of the most degen Stupidest things. Quick open! I'm opening one more. I'm opening one more. You are a f***ing <laughs> 28 year old man going crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm 19 years old. What are you talking about? Come on. No. Yeah. No. And Onez always had an eye for some of the more infamous skins on the market, which he was always willing to share some insider knowledge about with the uninitiated. We all know the 5-7 pattern no let me give you a little brain refresh just in case i can't show it for too long because i'm live some of you may know this pattern some of you have may have even seen it in real life the five seven kami with a in the back we all know this pattern how much is this uh, pattern worth usually round about Woody, how much were pussy patterns again i think 100 a hundred dollars a hundred dollars on his interests extended beyond the salacious however those who tuned in regularly knew that his real obsession lay with CSGO's rarest items. More specifically, 2014 Katowice holo stickers and particular scar pattern blue gems. To translate that into English, One is into skins that cost unfathomable amounts of money. He told me to reach out to him with an offer of 1.2 million in Bitcoin. And I'm not talking about USD, I'm talking about Euros, which converts to 1.5 million USD. He answered, not interested. 1.2 million is low. Eventually, thanks in part to his wacky personality and his willingness to spend exorbitant sums to keep us all entertained, Ona's popularity outgrew this fairly niche part of the CS community. Memes and clips of his streams spread across the internet like 
Molly Fire, and One quickly became one of the game's most recognizable representatives. Plus, his stream became one of the go-to places for watch parties, where you could enjoy CSGO's highest level of gameplay with the most insane man in the community. Last chance! And Dick Pattern Huntsman! Dick Pattern Huntsman! That's the cock Pattern Huntsman! Yes! Wanji Nitro? Wanji Nitro? Knife Louis! Wanji! 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 Kick him! Kick him! Oh! I bet! My brain had to think for a second. The thing is, when your entire brand is built around losing your mind and spending insane amounts of money, one-upping yourself can be sort of a challenge. This is why after co-streaming the grand finals of Pro League Season 16, One decided to open up his most expensive items to date. A 2015 cobblestone souvenir case and a 2014 Katowice sticker capsule that he got from a wealthy viewer. Two items that cost more than most people make in months and could turn exponential profits with the right click. So with many, many thousands of dollars on the line, One did what any sane person would do, and strapped on a heart rate monitor. Cobblestone package from Katowice, 2015. Three, two, one! Souvenir of Draco! 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 No! That was a $700 capsule. We unboxed 40 cents. As disappointing as that was, next up was the real deal. A $12,000 capsule that could potentially quadruple on his return on investment if the correct sticker was unboxed. The question was, did Ona have luck on his side? Man to my inventory now. Tight no, please, come on. Three, two, one, tight no, no. The cheapest sticker of the capsule right next to a Titan. Yes, poor One missed the Titan Hollow by mere millimeters, which of course is just a visual thing. But still, tragic as that was, when you're watching someone else open cases, the outcome almost doesn't matter. For some weird psychological reason, humans find a sort of morbid joy in another's misery. And One getting the worst possible outcome makes for great goddamn content. <laughs> oh, oh. oh Chat, now just imagine, imagine we opened the Cat of 14 capsule, $12,000, and it does that with a Titan and lands on a f nip holo, ah, or a nip non holo or whatever. Ah, ah, Bro. Ah, oh my god. Ah. And just to twist the knife, a fan ended up opening one of Ona's coveted Titan Hollows just a few weeks later. Here we go. Titan Holo, Titan Holo, no Titan Holo. No <laughs> right, my pre Oh my! <laughs> I'm happy, I'm so happy, no fun. No way! No fing way! But there was a silver lining in this whole situation. For obvious reasons, opening a $12,000 case is going to attract some attention. I must admit, I'm a bit disappointed there's to what so many stickers on these guns. Look at this gold arabesque, you know? Yeah. No stickers on it, dude. Yeah. I mean, at least put an NIP one on there. Owner Pixel will know about that one all too well. What? <laughs> no. No. $1,000 down the line. <laughs> Guys, from now on, we only watch, uh, really do. Speaking we of money, only watch this stream. Drain. One grew and grew, averaging over 10,000 viewers on most days during the Rio Major. And on those days, he gave the people exactly what they wanted. Highbrow skin talk, tons of case openings, and some absolutely f***ing unhinged commentary. Right, like, oh, uh, popcorn! Uh, hopefully helps our scene to develop Oh, more, I want some! So is that tr a car trying to get through? Or is it the crowd? Oh, a banana! They keep it under control. Eat it! What an inaugural experience What is he doing? Is he Serena. fart? He's trying to like push the air away. That's disgusting. Do you know when you eat crisps, back, right? chips at home? Problem. All the residue goes going. down into your keyboard. If you the have it straight, it all goes into the middle. W-A-S-T, the buttons that you're using. If you have it twisted, 
It avoids that, it goes around like Matrix. So in a world of your regular old CSGO streams, One is a breath of fresh air. He's one of us, a regular dude who just loves skins, and we're all just along for the ride. And as far as his skill on the server goes, let's just say he's improving at his own pace. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Bro, what the f*** was that then? <laughs> Shut up. Good flush. <laughs> Man, stop, bro. Why is everyone talking when I'm trying to clutch? I'm planning the bomb. Nice. <laughs> Maybe behind. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> shut, shut up. I swear to God, shut up. <laughs> but make no mistake. One is not some buffoon who got lucky. He played his cards perfectly, rising to the top of CSGO's crowded creator space by making the right moves at the right time. Fame hasn't changed on it though. When he drops thousands on cases, he isn't just doing it for us. He's doing it because, well, he might legitimately have a problem. Titan Hono, Titan Hono, Titan Hono. Titan Hono, you sexy beast, bro! Titan Hono, you sexy beast, bro, please! Titan Hono! Titan Hono! Titan Hono! Titan Hono! Titan Hono! Titan Hono! 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 Okay. I mean, it could have been worse. In a sense, what makes Ones so special is that there's a little part of him in all of us. When you truly love CSGO, you love every part of it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. One is a CSGO fanatic in every sense of the word. He and his community share an unrelenting connection to six skins, the pro scene, and the pains of matchmaking. One is the quintessential CSGO fan. And trust me when I say that there is no other esport in the world that could make him a superstar. It's one thing to see like a, a message a chat message pop up and it's like a username and so on, right? There's another thing when you actually see someone like holding a sign inside of an arena. I never, 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 ever would have thought that this would turn into something like this, where I get to do what I do. <laughs> oh, no, no, sir. Holy shit, we got the most signature fans. Yeah, oh I'm my god. <laughs> oh, that makes you me so happy right now. So you happy. Whenever he's co-streaming, no matter who he's watching, doesn't matter who it is. Could be Furia, could be Astralis, it could be fucking Liquid, it doesn't matter. He just starts speaking in the collective first person. Chet, device in the 1v3, he can do He can do it for us, like every time. And he gets so worried, Chet, we need this round. <laughs> Chet, we need this. This is big for us, Chet. <laughs> He's so good, dude.